Hey guys, it's Fin17, we're back in the video, and today we're going to be looking at if pro packs are worth it in Madden Mold 22. Um, now, of course, pro packs uh, in the game before were pretty much packs that you had a chance of pulling anything in. You know, you could pull literally elites uh, in, in previous games, and diamonds and everything like that. And this year, uh, they kind of changed the system. So um, we're going to be opening up one of these pro pack bundles here uh, and seeing if we can pull anything good so um before we do start please make sure to join my discord server link will be in the description let's try to get 100 likes on this video that would be awesome and the post notification shout out does go to this person on the screen right there thank you for having your post notifications on uh if you guys do want a post notification shout out make sure to be subscribed with your notice on and comment something positive down below let's get straight to it so this pro pack bundle right here as you can see i have a million coins so this really isn't you know a big deal um i don't really use coins on anything we're gonna buy the uh pro pack bundle as you can see right here 10 pro packs with a topper of a common 65 plus player uh which kind of sucks because before i believe the topper was like a 70 plus overall player uh uncommon player and you, you know you could pull something uh hopefully decent there but i don't know what the chances are at pulling anything good um you know in a pro pack this year uh which is kind of a little bit weird uh let me just make sure uh, i don't get nto there we go so yeah it doesn't say any probability of getting anything else so let's get straight to it uh so the thing i don't like about pro packs this year is that you got to choose like what team you want the players on and i get that you know of course with the new system uh especially for like the tour sets if you want like a specific um player you know you need only their players so i guess it's convenient but uh I, I miss the system where you could get like collectibles and everything like that so let's let's choose the rams first i feel like the rams have some pretty good players um if there is a good player it always is on the left of course um so first pack we don't really get anything that good and of course uh when gauging if pro packs are worth it or not i'm really gauging this off any like pulls that we get we get a 65 there that's not bad 65s are probably the best you know things you can pull because there is no auction house you know this year where you can resell and you know buy more pro packs if you get something good so cole mcdonald right there uh nothing good so you're not guaranteed a 63 plus player um i believe you're guaranteed a 62 maybe um ronnie brown or bobby brown excuse me uh okay so let me choose something that's not the rams uh let's do let's do the dolphins you know the good old dolphins let's see we get two jonathan ledbetters we do get a 65 overall Salvan ahmed um now keep in mind this is costing me 100 uh, 100k to do and 100k like coins aren't really you know worth a lot this season there's a 64 uh right there not too shabby at all uh pack seven out of ten let's do the cowboys you know because why not um boom adam redmond there's a cedric wilson 61 overall uh i'm only saying that because he's a dolphin now but yeah, nothing good there pack eight out of 11 and we're still yet to pull anything that's not uh, a common player uh so let me open it this way again the bucks gives us a 62 aaron stinney um I'm trying to think of what teams would give me like you know some really good stuff uh the packers gives me nothing and um okay so for the last one let me go with the vikings for my guy aaron uh you know best team in the league here we go troy die kj osborne and nothing good at all okay so here's the topper it's supposed to be a 65 plus player i believe you know we should have a chance of pulling something good here theo riddick uh 65 overall oh man okay so that was 100k and we yielded let me just see uh you know in quick maths here uh how many players we yielded so it's it's 40 never mind i don't even have to do that 40 uh 60 plus overall players and then of course 165 plus but we did get some 65 plus players there so the intention is for you to complete probably these sets this is really all you can use common players on uh you really can't use them on anything else like there's they're really not incorporated into any other part of the game as you can see uh so very very interesting there um but not too bad as you can see all my common players are just stored in here because i really have nothing to do with them i could convert them into like coins and training points which is probably what i'm gonna end up doing but yeah guys 41 players uh some 65s uh i wouldn't say opening pro packs is really worth it as you can see the chances of getting anything that's not a common is pretty much impossible i don't know why uh but you know for sticking around i will open up one more pack here let's do the afc east um uh, most competitive and best division in the league here we go let's open up a madden pack boom we get the go okay 
All right, this video is worth it. Uh, if you, oh my God, and Tua, and we got the TikToker Bryce Hall. No way. W pack definitely worth my uh, my cash. Uh, but we got Ginkle. There we got the W. Um, but yeah, guys, pro packs are not worth it. Uh, the only way you should open up pro packs is by daily goals. Literally, I believe I should have one on my bench. Um, uh, sorry about that. And this one is the one that you know it was before because like you don't have to see, you don't have to you know select a division. It's literally just any player. And yeah, so that's gonna be it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, you know, obviously the consensus is that pro packs are not worth it and that's going to be it guys. So thank you so much for watching again. I'll see you in the next one and peace out.